हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर भक्ति जोशी फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सीकेटी कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट टू चैप्टर वन स्ट्रैटेजिक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट सो टू स्टार्ट विथ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी वॉट डू वी मीन बाय स्ट्रैटेजी स्ट्रैटेजी एंड प्लानिंग आर दे सेम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस चैप्टर सो स्ट्रैटेजी इज नथिंग बट अ लॉन्ग टर्म प्लानिंग और और अ गेम प्लान इन दिस कॉम्पिटेटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस कॉम्पिटेटिव बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट सो टू स्टार्ट विथ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज स्ट्रैटेजी स्ट्रैटेजी इज नथिंग बट डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ इंटेंट that means what company is going to become in long run the definition of this is done in strategic planning so strategy is nothing but it is a systematic and analytical approach to the planning we can define the strategy as follows like the long term direction and scope of an organization to achieve competitive advantage through the configuration of resources within a changing environment for the fulfillment of stakeholders aspiration and expectation so here in this definition the word long term direction because strategy is not short term strategy is always made at corporate level top level management and therefore it it has a longer intent then scope of an organization to achieve competitive advantage that means what is the go- what is going to be company's plan to gain the competitive advantage to sur- to su- survive and sustain in the competition that is defined under sal- uh, 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 strategy strategic financial management it combines backward looking report focused discipline of financial accounting with the more dynamic forward looking subject of financial management and here it is the difference of strategic financial management and financial accounting financial accounting is objective in nature in which we focus on report it is report discipline because we see historical data in financial accounting and analyze the past data but in case of financial management it is more dynamic forward looking because we estimate we predict certain things to form our strategy in future now to understand strategy better here is porter's five forces model so michael porter developed this model to understand what is the competition in the business environment so for that he has studied five elements of competition those are threats of new entrants threats of substitute bargaining power of buyers bargaining power of suppliers and industry rivalry first we will see what is bargaining power of buyers so all the customers ha- have uh, uh, they, they retain their powers with them of with the help of demand they retain their powers when company needs to survive in long they always uh, pay uh, they always need to pay attention to their customers and hence the customers and the buyers will always stake their bargaining powers with them on the other hand company also needs to deal with the bargaining power of supplier or uh, the other part of this five forces model is threats of new entrants and threats of substitute whenever the company enters in the business environment it will always have threats of new entrants uh, like big companies will always be uh, insecure about new entrants those who come up with uh, uh, less margin and try to survive in longer they will try to capture and acquire such companies on the other hand threats of substitute stands for when company is insecure about when their products be replaced with other products other similar products that also for the for that uniqueness of your product needs to be secured and industry rivalry that means in existing market whatever the uh competition that company has it has to look after that also so this is the study of porter's five forces model now we will see what is the need and importance of strategic financial management why we need to study strategic financial management the very first and foremost reason behind it is assessment of present situation 
Now student understand whenever we prepare any strategy or any game plan or the formation of planning, it is done. It cannot be done unless and until we look into our present situation as well as past historical data. So whenever we need to go further, we first need to see from where we have come from, what are our roots, and how long we can do with our present resources therefore assessment of present situation is done while framing the policies and strategies then setting up of target then dividing the long run strategy in different different short term target is one of the important uh, function of strategic financial management strategic financial management here we are underlining the word financial strategic financial management it cannot be done uh, without involving financial planning forecasting provision of finance and formulation of policy and therefore we need all this financial accounting data for framing financial strategic management policies then judicious allocation of funds capitalization of strength counter possible action of competitor these all things we need to consider while framing strategic policies for financial management and effective use of funds deployed whatever funds are deployed through different different departments they should utilize those funds with maximum efficiency as far as strategic financial management are concerned there are three levels of strategies first is functional level strategy then business level strategy and corporate level strategy now we will see one by one each of them functional level strategy functional level strategy it is the strategy which starts with department it is that level of strategy where function wise or department wise planning is done so it depends on level of the operating divisions and departments it also aim at improving effectiveness of companies operations because these strategies uh, these strategies are framed under different different functional department of the company another second level of strategy that is business level strategy business level strategy is all about how company is going to survive in competitive business environment therefore external environment to the company plays major role over here business level strategy is about practical coordination of operating units and developing and sustaining a competitive advantage for the products and services that are produced the last that is top level strategy is corporate level strategy corporate level strategy is all about companies corporate decisions which are taken by top level management and it includes uh, decisions like mergers and acquisition then such type of strategies are not seen in small business sole proprietor business or partnership firm such level of strategies are made only for uh, corporate level uh, companies uh, which have diversified business or different different types of business so for sustainab sustainability feasibility and acceptability this corporate level strategies are framed now the other part of financial strategic financial management is financial planning we first differentiate what is the strategy and what is planning now first we will, now now we will see what is financial planning there are various functions of business like production marketing sales research and others so all the ultimate goal of all these function is nothing but to earn maximum profit for the company therefore to earn maximum profit for the company this all department individually have to prepare their own planning primarily concerned with investment and finance decision now for that there are three major components of financial planning first is financial resources then financial tools and financial goals what is the need and importance of financial planning then why it is need to be done so any strategy whenever it is made it must be supported by adequate finance if there is no adequate finance no strategy of long run will survive better and therefore financial planning that means the sources and deployment of funds is equally important 
for so therefore financial planning is required to ensure there is adequate fund supply to the departments there should be reasonable balance between inflow and outflow of the funds plus company must ensure that credit management from supplier is better it helps in making growth and expansion program therefore financial planning is required and if financial planning is there it will reduce uncertainty in future and failure of strategy the chances of failure of strategy will definitely be less now we'll see where there is interface of financial policy and strategic management for that we need to study these four types of decision financing decision investment decision dividend decision and portfolio decision so these four decision we will cover in next lecture thank you